Hello everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw Anakin Skywalker from Star Wars. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpie. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look at the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start out with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. All right, I have an idea and I want to have him jumping. So we're going to go for a jumping pose. Going to do something a little different, trying to mix it up a little bit for you. So it's not the same thing all the time. And uh, I just got to make sure I get him. You know, he actually, let me see if I can do it a little bit. No, 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 no higher. I was going to go higher, but I realized I also want his arm out holding his lightsaber. So I have to give him room for that. I just gotta bring his leg up higher, that's what it is. Okay, that'll work, that'll work. And uh, there's a lot of a lot of cloth, so we'll uh, we'll play around with what we can. And I mean, I guess what I'm trying to say is a, a, not a lot of anatomy is gonna be hidden because of all the cloth. So that's what I mean by we'll play around with what we can. I'll, uh, You know what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm trying to say. I don't know why I'm trying to explain it even better because I just explained it. All right. So, yeah. So, I'm going to have him jumping through the air. So, this leg I'm going to have down like this. I'm going to have him bent at the ankle. It's going to be right here. This foot's going to be back here. And all you're going to see of that is this part of the foot. Because, I don't know, I'm kind of... I'm, I, I, want, I want to draw everybody. You know, Obi-Wan Kenobi... Uh, Ahsoka Tano, all the kinds of characters, but I want to do something more than just everybody standing there holding a lightsaber. So I'm trying to give you some some different action poses. So when you, you are deciding what to do and what to draw, you can you can decide if you want to draw them just stoic and standing there and in a standing stance, I mean in a fighting stance, go for it. Do what you want. But I'm gonna give you some options is what I'm trying to do. The other trick is I don't know what you want to see because the um, Clone Wars are starting and that's kind of why I'm I'm uh, starting with these characters back up again. It's just it's a great excuse to draw them, you know. I always I always want to, but I also try to draw you stuff that uh, is relevant to what's happening at the time. So when a movie comes out, that's when I draw it. When uh, a cartoon is coming out that's when I draw it so I'm trying to play around with with when stuff comes out when it's available and when you want to see it so again uh, I I'm drawing this around when the Clone Wars is happening I think I, I hope I, I could be wrong I'm just what I'm trying to do but uh, that's what I'm going for so I don't know. I guess what I'm going... I'm taking a long route of saying this. I don't know what he looks like in the Clone Wars. I can only... Uh, I mean, I do. Why am I trying to explain myself so much? I don't know. But I do know what he looks like. I just don't know if they changed him up for the season, I guess is what I'm trying to say. All right. There we go. So, let's see. How am I, I going to draw his hand? Maybe something like this? Yeah, let's do that. So out put that thumb down those fingers out there you go so in a in a jumping fighting pose and the other one is going to be the uh, gloved hand right So this one, let's see. So this is going to be holding his lightsaber kind of like this. <laughs> I got a prop finally. So when I'm drawing, I, I know how to how to make the hand look. So let me just 
look in the mirror real fast what I want to do. Yeah, something like that. So that means we have to do his hand like this. Now we'll take care of the glove part. So let's see. I'm gonna bring it around, then knuckle up. Let's see, see the knuckles back here like this. So and and again, don't be afraid to get a prop. Um, you're 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 the best. Um, model you're ever gonna have because you'll you'll always be there you know I mean unless you're missing a limb that you're trying to draw you're always gonna be the best model you're ever gonna have to represent uh, the positions the posing and the placement of what you want to do you know all right now I also want to make sure that I get the blade kind of going across straight so let's see his hands gonna be there just give me bear with me while I do this and this will be the most we got to get out of this and then I can I can follow the rest so okay blaze around like that knuckles bear around like this around like this and this one's almost up at that angle right that means the blade's gonna be like this. I mean, the handle's gonna be like that. These fingers here, that finger there. That will, that should do it right there because it's kind of around. So there's only so much that we can do anyway. And there's only so much that we're gonna see, right? Okay, so let's draw his face. And since he's jumping, I also got to get the sizing right too. Uh, that's one thing too to help with your sketches is you got to figure out how to get the body and the head all the same size and uh, looking proportionate, you know? We're going to give him those angry brows. And uh, I've always said that I'm not good at caricature drawing, so I can't make it look like Hayden Christensen. But I'm going to do my best, and we'll at least get a angry-looking Anakin to to represent, um, you know, Anakin. that will work I think I'm ready to go how about you you ready so let's welcome everybody that skipped over to this portion of the video and there we are and get my sharpies so no let me erase a bit I'm so sorry sorry my lightsaber is just flying all over the place here uh, let me erase some of these lines I just realized that too that uh, when I do this if you're working with pencil, you keep going. I'm gonna switch over to Sharpie and I don't want all these pencil lines to stand out. I want just the Sharpie to stand out. And so some of these lines are too thick and I need to thin them out a little bit or fade them out so there's just a ghost of an image. And usually I do this with a special computer, but not this time. This time I'm going to do it by hand and erase. And there we go. I've just got a ghost of an image that I can work with and I can draw on top of that. So. Welcome skippers, welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a drawing every single day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm going to be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen, mostly the fine point, but the pen is a little finer than the fine point and can find the things that the fine point can't quite find. So I'm going to start off with this and I've sketched the entire thing out and have erased the darker image. I've got a small faint ghost of an image to work with and I'm going to start off with the eyes and build from there. Now I've talked about that I can't draw caricatures but I'm going to play around with the look of them and at least give you an Anakin look, okay? 
What I mean by caricature is I can't make it look like the actors hating Christensen, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna draw the top of the eye, uh, the eyelid like this, just to see if I've got it in the right spot. By the way, I've got his head angled like that, so that's why the eyebrows are kind of like this. And it looks about right to me. So now I can draw the iris and I'm gonna draw the round part like that, draw the round part like that, and draw just a bead of a pupil like that. Um, just because we can, you know, if we want, normally the pupil's a little bit bigger than that, but if we want, we can give it that, that, uh, Sith look, you know, that gives us more color to add in there if you want to do that. So uh, I'm going to start from here and there's only so much of the eye I can draw with this because it's so tiny and I don't want to make it bleed and look all kinds of crazy. So I'm just going to play around with a little bit of the um, eye line and normally I don't draw the underline, but for him, I want it a little thicker because it is a little bit of, of, uh, of questionable Anakin, like, can we trust him? You know, he's a little, a little darker, you know? See, see, okay, see what I'm saying right there? That bled too much. I don't like that. I, I don't like doing that. So I'm just going to add some eye lines like this. Now I'm going to bring in his brow and give him like an angry brow like that. Okay? So for the nose, for the bridge of the nose, I'm going to draw... The, the nostrils and the bulb of the nose, kind of like this, like that, and give him a little bit of the bulb, kind of like this. And that'll bring us up for that much. And that's all I want to draw there. So, like I said, for the eyebrows, I don't want to go further than that because that gives him a, a defined look. Add that right there. A defined look and enough so we don't start bleeding, okay? So now I'm gonna draw the mouth and I'm gonna start in the middle, work my way out so I know where the middle is and draw the lips. So, with something like this and like that. And I can't draw too much because it'll look like lipstick if I start doing a thick line like this. So color will take care of that, but I do wanna give him a bottom lip. I'm gonna come in and do that. Keep it subtle, that's all I can say. When you're drawing male faces, you can keep it subtle and it'll look uh, very, very good. So let's give him the small divot in his chin and that'll also help define where we're gonna come into and draw that chin. And I'm thickening up my edges because when I switch over to this Sharpie, it's super thick and I know it's gonna look different. So I'm starting to be prepared for how that look is going to be. So I'm gonna give him a strong jawline and again, thicken my end up a little bit. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. And um, come up here to his cheekbones. And here, I'm gonna add just a little bit of the ear, but the hair is gonna to start to build up here too. So I'm going to just do like this for the ears, right? And then hair is gonna cover up more of that. So I'm gonna part his hair on the side here, about right there, then bring this hair kind of uh, um, parted on the side, parted over, and play around with some of the hairlines, but not all of it. So I'm just gonna kind of do this something like this, and that'll help me define a few of the edges to give him that, that hair look, but not draw all of them. I want to draw all of them, but it's, 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 that's not what this tutorial is about. This is about drawing the character and the look and that kind of thing. So I'm just going to play around with some hairlines like this, because this is when his hair is getting a little bit longer. And we'll go ahead and add a few of these little details. Okay, so like I said, his hair is kind of covering that part right there and we'll uh, build off of that. So it's parts like that. And we'll play around with some lines, like I said, but not all of them. So don't go too crazy. Now, you know what, you do what you want. If that's what you want to do, if you want to draw the hairlines, you go for it. I'm not gonna draw them all. Okay, so I'm gonna define it right there, thicken up this outer edge. I am, again, you don't have to. You do what you want and draw the top of the hair. So I'm gonna come around here and play around with some of the edges like this. See if that's where I like it. Yeah, I like that. All right. There you go. And I think we should stop there because um, I don't want to go too crazy with it. Let me thicken up the outer edge just a little bit and you'll see why in a second. 
but I, I like where I went and so I'm just gonna stop with that. So here we go. So now I can build off of this. So I can work with this Sharpie and work with his neck come down like this and see how thick that is. That's what I'm saying. That's why I wanted to get prepared for the way this is gonna look. You know what, let's do one quick thing. Let's add just a little bit of cheekbone like that just to age him a little bit. There we go. He looked a little young without that, so that, that helped him out. So this is a lot of material, so bear with me for what we're gonna do here. His collar is gonna come in like this, and then we're just gonna build a lot of flowing material because of the way he's jumping through the air. His V uh, piece that's over him is gonna kinda define a lot of it right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw that first. And this one I'm gonna have kind of floating up a little bit because he's jumping through the air. So it's kind of all uh, mishmashing, oshbegoshing, and plosh and closh. So there you go. See how it's kind of over his shoulder? That's what I was going for. And again, we're gonna do a lot of things like this. A lot of uh, material bends because there's so much cloth in there and we're just gonna play around with that. So now that we have that, let's let's start working on this. So let's work on this arm here. Again, it's a lot of cloth, so I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna follow my sketch and be ready for cloth bends, okay? There we go. So again, because I can, I wanna play around with the fact that it's cloth and it'll look really good if we start playing with stuff like this and add, you know, those bends in the cloth just to show that it's it's material. All right, so this draw this hand down. It's just pretty much out like that because he's jumping through the air. That's what this whole exercise is about. So I'm going to draw his hand like this, and I'm following my sketch. So I'm not just blindly drawing stuff. I I sketch this out. And I'm following the, uh, the the fingers specifically the way I drew them. All right, so let's I'm gonna close it out with this just a little bit more because I can I can define it better with this pencil because this is a little big, but I want you to be able to draw with what you have around the house. You know, I want you to be able to just find sharpies that you got and you can build with that rather than go and buy expensive material if you've got expensive stuff do it go for it but i want you to be able to just grab what you have so that's why we're gonna work with what we got here okay so now we're gonna draw this one over here so this shoulder is over here like this and i'm gonna work from where the belt is and just kind of work my way back up here just to help you see where we are and again draw up to about here because his sorry my picture disappeared his arm let me find a good picture of his arm uh, has a glove over you know the mechanics of it here. So I'm gonna build onto the material like that. Stop right about there because that's where I want the glove to be. And I'm gonna go ahead and end it. Do more material like this. Come down. Do one of these now. Again, because I have so much material here, I'm going to play around with these lines. You don't have to draw every single line like I am, and if you're drawing differently, go for it. I'm just showing you how to draw some cloth lines to uh, to show how much the cloth that he has is bending. This one is not. This is more like a leather piece. This is, is super cottony cloth, so that's why I'm adding so many bends in it. All right, so let's draw his arm up here holding the lightsaber, and this uh, glove has got kind of bumps to it, kind of a recessed looking look like that. So. If you do something like this, we can come back in and add some uh, specific detail to it. And I like doing that with the uh, smaller Sharpie to add like a nice contrast, kind of like I do there, of thick versus thin. You get a nice look that's different. You know, it stands out. All right. So see how, how cool that looks? I like doing stuff like that with, with thicker and thin Sharpies. All right, so this hand is holding a lightsaber. We're pretty much, ha ha ha, you like that? You like that prop? Ah, I'm very proud of this. Maybe I'll do a tutorial about how to make one of these. Uh, I bought it, but you have to put it together and paint it and do all that stuff, so we'll see, we'll see. But uh, his lightsaber hand is pretty much holding it like that. So 
What we're gonna do here is, oh, it's rolling on me, it won't stop moving. Um, we're just going to draw his hand uh, in a front position, holding it out this way. I've already sketched a line, or, or traced a, a line with a ruler, so I know where the lightsaber is going to be. So I'm gonna draw his uh, thumb like this, going over the Sharpie, the Sharpie, going over the lightsaber, and you're only gonna see so much of it because the, the lightsaber is kind of in the way. You know, so you're, you're only gonna see a little bit and then some of the, the thumb right there and that's all. So we're just building off that and then same thing with the fingers, you're only gonna see so much before the lightsaber gets in the way. Okay, so you're gonna see the front of the fingers. I guess just, just kind of follow along and then we'll add some detail to, to show uh, where the hand actually is that okay so let me do this okay to show a little bit of edges of the fingers that way you can see that it's wrapped over but it's it's more right now we're more implying than anything else because uh, no one's gonna be looking specifically at well how do you have those unless you're being graded you know so now I'm gonna draw the lightsaber and so I've sketched it out the way to go so I can kind of look at this toy look at this toy make sure I got it right um, I can kind of follow here the straight edge is what I'm trying to say I did a straight edge so I know how to follow it and and bring it uh, To a, uh, a straight um, look or which way I want it to go you know so like that and so I'm gonna add the big thick edges there and then work on that so see there's not a lot I really had to do because it's so small the details in there aren't really gonna show up so there's only so much you can do you know but we're implying that there's a lightsaber with lots of cool detail all right and also for the edges what i usually do here is i've oh you know what and now that i see it this is different it didn't quite hit the way i wanted so i'm gonna follow this straight edge real fast and redraw a straight line so i know that looks about right that looks about right so what I want to do, I want color to take care of that because it's it's white, right? It's colored, it's blue, you know, but not a black edge. So I'm just gonna play around with the, the edge just to give you something to draw, but color is what I really wanna do. So I'm gonna kind of draw, pick it up, draw, pick it up. You'll see. So it's defined, edge, edge, like that. I'm gonna do the same thing here. And I like to do like a bigger bulby end that and that's it that's all I want to do that way it's implied that there's a big light blade coming out okay color will take care of that but I want to do that for the ink if you're doing it with pencil you can draw the entire line do what you want to do all right so here we go back to the belt and we're just gonna pretty much draw just some some detail some uh, uh, pouches some extra little accoutrement just to give us uh, you know, uh, um, space belts. You know, everybody in Star Wars has has detail of space belts. So we're just gonna add a little bit of detail ourselves, just to give it space belt. And you know, for the pouches and all the things they carry. You know, their snack packs, their pudding pops, their their uh, quarters for the video games. And their uh, fruit by the foot, that kind of stuff. That's where that all goes in there. Okay, so now I'm going to continue this piece here, like this. Same thing here, but this one's flying out a little bit because he's jumping through the air. There we go. And so now, again, we're just drawing cloth um, material. That's pretty much what we're doing. So this tunic thing is coming down here like this. And 
and something like that. This is here like this. And we can kind of get away with, you know, there's, there's not too much we can really draw because it's cloth. You know, in other words, we don't draw armor, we don't draw uh, detail specifics, but we will add little things like this just to give it something and to give it a look, you know, a, uh, a thick, thin look with, with nice lines for the cloth. So now we're just going to draw his legs down. And again, he's jumping through the air. So this one is coming down like this. And again, it's going to his boots. So there's only so much you're going to draw. But we want to draw some cloth, some creases and folds. And there's his knee. We'll do something like that just to define a little bit. And now I'm going to draw his boot. And I don't think there's anything too challenging about the boots, too different. No, just regular boots, regular old space boots. All right, so here we go. Let's draw the edges of it down like this, down to the ankle. And it's pointed at you. So I'm just pretty much going to do this. And then we'll draw a few lines to define the creases and folds. Like that. And I think there is a little bit of detail that we'll just do something like this that'll help give you something because it's mostly black. It's going to disappear once you color it anyway. So now we're going to do the other leg and this one is bent because he's kind of jumping through the air. So this leg following anatomy is going to come down like this, hit right here, come down for the knee, I'm going to bend in like that. The edge of the boot's going to be right there. So I could draw the other side, which is back behind him coming through and coming down like about right here. I'm going to add a bunch of lines because that's material all bent. You know the knee causes a lot of folds. So we're just going to kind of do something like that. Not too crazy, but edges, you know? Not butt edges. Gross. That's not his knee. His butt, it's his knee. So now I'm just going to draw the back of the boot, which is back behind that leg. Going back there like this. Coming through here. Coming at you. This one's coming down like that. That's a little thick. That should have been higher like that, but that's okay. No one's going to pay attention to that. There's his heel. Come down to his toe. Up like this. We'll go ahead and actually draw the heel. And then draw some detail. Again, just some creases just to show that, yeah, there's folds. His, his, his shoe gets worn. You know. Round that out a little bit. I don't know why I bumped it in like that. So there you go. And we'll draw that line like we did there. Something like that. So there. Let's take care of the rest with color. So that is Anakin Skywalker from Star Wars. So here is my colored version. You could do it however you like. I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it. If you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used. Or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.